Hi, I'm Byron. I'm happy to share this quote with you today. This quote was originally shared on the BJJ Brick podcast by one of our guests. If you enjoy the quote, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then go check out the podcast. It's a weekly show. We talk about lots of jujitsu. So here goes the quote. You know, for, for me, when it comes to training jujitsu, it's all about enjoyment. And if you're not really enjoying uh, what you're doing, why are you doing it? You know, this, this jiu-jitsu is a phenomenal art in that it, it covers a variety of different aspects. You know, you got the sportive aspect, you got the, the self-defense aspect. Um, you develop some great friendships, you develop a camaraderie, you got this bond with this family away from your other family. Um, to me, I think the cornerstone of a person's experience in jiu-jitsu really needs to be on, on enjoyment. Um, and off the top of my head, I can't think of any uh, quotes I remember about enjoyment. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, to me, that's really where it's at. Do you think if a student, you have two students who are similar in skill and ability, um, and when one of them is, just has a smile and is enjoying it more than the other, do you think that that's going to play effect in, in the progression of their um, jujitsu? It's going to play a, a huge effect in the skill sets that you develop as well as that person's impact, positive impact on the community. Because anytime you have somebody that does something well and they enjoy it, they have that passion, they're going to positively impact others. And it's great for the sport, it's great for the individual, it's great for the community, it's positive all the way around. When you have a person that mopes and moans and complains, um, they really need to either find another gym or find another activity because, you know, if, you, if you're not enjoying it, you, you really should either move on to something else or take a break. Like in my own instance, there have been uh, a number of times where I have lost the fire for jiu-jitsu and I needed to take a break. How long? Um... Uh, a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a year, a few years. But when you came back, it was uh, it was uh, back and ready to go for you, huh? Oh yeah, it it, uh, it came back uh, each time, and some of those times it came back stronger. And so for those who feel as though they are losing the enjoyment and losing the passion, I would encourage them to take a break. You know, spend some more time with your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your kids, uh, gardening, something else. And uh, if it's meant to come back, it will come back. And you'll be uh, equally or even more passionate about it. Sometimes it won't come back. And it means it's time for you to move on to something else. So, yeah, you know, life is too short to mope and groan and and complain and get injured, you know. So uh, do something that you're passionate about, that you enjoy. And if it's not enjoyable, take a break um, and wait for it to come back. I love it. That's uh, very wise advice. And, you know, you could just say, you know, stick with it. It'll come back. But if it doesn't, if you're... Take a break, and you turn out you don't like jujitsu anymore. Do something you like. I mean, it's like it's too short. There's there's too much you're missing out on when you're on the mats anyway. If you're not having a good time, find something else. <laughs> exactly. Very wise. Yeah.